All right, kind of a uh, response video to my own comment section on the last few videos. So I figure I'll do this once in a while, periodically. Um, so I'll start with the uh, Alex Jones channel video. Um, really pissed me off the comment section. Uh, all these people, I mean, it had to be, I don't know, a dozen? More than a dozen. It's like every other comment is some asshole pointing out, Oh, the guy who runs this site is named Dave. And, blah, blah, you know, like like they're telling me something I didn't already fucking know. I mean, I knew that, like, the third time I went to the Alex Jones channel about three months ago or something. Uh, you know, he has it right in the description of the of every, well, I think every video. Um, and certainly on his channel page. Uh, so, yeah, it's not news, assholes. It doesn't have anything to do with the subject, really. Um, it's obviously Alex Jones content. It's his radio shows and his um, internet shows. Uh, uh, and, there's, you know, there's just no question that it's produced or provided with Alex Jones's cooperation or participation. And there's no doubt that the guy who's running the site would, um, if it was to Alex Jones's benefit, um, hand him over the channel. I mean, if they need to do it for legal purposes, but I don't even think legally you'd have to. He still has um, standing in the case because it's his content that is being um, challenged uh, on the channel. <clears throat> um, and whether or not this is YouTube policy or not, or whether it's uh, a DMCA was filed, I mean, there's obviously the the um, newspaper got in contact, or the publisher that's questioning the content got in contact with YouTube, and that's essentially filing a DMCA. And the law is pretty clear. So I mean, you know, certain things have to happen. And YouTube, if they're going to take, if they're going to take on the responsibility of editing content and deciding what content's going to be allowed and what isn't going to be allowed, <clears throat> then they basically invalidated the whole concept of the DMCA. So they shouldn't be entitled to immunity anymore because they're suspending free speech. They're, dispending, they're, they're suspending a publisher's right to publish um, beyond what the law calls for. So what good would the law be? Um, it'd be no, of no use if it's going to be used as part of an arsenal to, to suppress free speech. The purpose of the law is to protect um, fair use, not to destroy fair use. Um, so anyway, I mean, these are lots of legal, legal issues to be brought up. It's, it would be a minimal expense um, to, to file the lawsuit, whether he had to file it or whether he had to just answer it. Um, and he could make um, YouTube the plaintiff or he could make um, the paper the plaintiff, whatever way he chose to go. And it's, it's just a win-win. I mean, it gives the subject publicity at the minimum. He gets free publicity at the minimum. Um, and at worst, he loses a couple of thousand bucks. Big fucking deal. Uh, so fuck you people, fuck your arrogance, um, you know, you want to defend this asshole, that's your business, uh, but don't, you know, defend what the hell he does and what he says, don't, don't sit there and, and contrive a defense out of this bullshit, there's no defense for his lazy fucking attitude, he wants to be able to complain about everything, he doesn't want to fix anything, he doesn't want to be part of a solution, because he wants to remain an outsider, so he can keep saying the system won't let him, the system can't be beat, the system, system, system. Him. He can't sell his survival food and the rest of his bullshit that he sells, okay, if you people think there's something worth salvaging in this goddamn fucking democracy. So he's got to keep playing the game like we can't do anything and nobody can save us. No, assholes like him can save us. The celebrity fuckers can save us, but they don't get off their ass and do anything. <clears throat> I mean, a wimpy woman like Carol Burnett um, took on the fucking National Enquirer and won. All right, those are the people with balls in this country. The rest are all just fucking talkers, okay? So fuck you, people. <laughs> just fuck you and your bullshit. You don't, you don't, you don't have some secret information, you jackasses. You read a fucking channel page and then you post comments like you know something everybody else doesn't know. You fucking assholes. I should just block every fucking one of you. So just, just stay the fuck away if that's your fucking attitude. You arrogant pricks. You think I say shit without doing it the, the minimum amount of research? Fuck you. Fuck off. All right, enough of that fucking video. Fuck Alex Jones. <clears throat> um, all right, so the other one was the weekly a a anarchist. And, uh, yeah, you know, there was a video response by some anarchy guy. So I'll, I guess I'll post a response to him next week. Um, you know, because I really only do one of those videos a week. 
<coughs> and, uh, sorry, some tree crap in my hair. Um, <coughs> and, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's just so stupid. And then that, that other guy, the Confederate socialist guy, just did a video where he basically said, yeah, I'm a white nationalist, sort of, kind of, maybe, but I don't want to do it like with force. I just want it to happen naturally because, yeah, naturally we're going to all be segregationalists and we're not going to we're not going to defend the rights of each other to live in a civilized society. No, we'll just segregate and and do things our own way and all that kind of bullshit. And we're somehow, you know, he talks like it's all, you know, somehow we're genetically disposed. You know, like white people are genetically disposed to have a stick up their ass. And, you know, it's like, you know, I mean, it's, 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 you know, white men can't jump kind of bullshit. Um, so fuck that jack jackass. Uh, <clears throat> this is veiled nonsense. Um, you, you know, why even go near that kind of jackass subject? We all, obviously something's going to happen. The world population, the way it's heading, the way it's turning. You know, certain populations are going to die off, and certain others aren't. And you know, maybe we should have some kind of. Uh, you know, at some point, you know, we declare a, a race of human beings to be, uh, you know, an endangered race, <laughs> you know, and do something to maybe protect its existence. But, you know, the, the writing's in the cards kind of thing, and it's, you know, whatever, it, it, you know, but any, any intervention is always going to look like some sort of master race bullshit. It's always going to look like some sort of, um, uh, you know, equal but separate kind of crap that just can't ever work. So fuck that shit. Um, you know, and then so, so you know, one advocates, you know, some of them advocate the old Steph Bot stuff, and the rest of them say, no, we're anarchists, but we're not Steph Bot anarchists. So then you still haven't answered the questions. What do you, how are you going to deal with crime? If everybody has no ID, everybody can just, you know, disappear, drive five miles away from a crime scene and be completely unaccountable for anything they did five miles ago. I mean, come on. You know, how, can, how the fuck can you ever prosecute a criminal? So the idea of you could never do it. So the only way you could live your life is to make sure crime couldn't happen. And that's going to be very fucking expensive. So, so good luck. <laughs> but anyway, with that's for another day. I'll do a whole video on that subject, too. I guess over and over and over again, because these people just never go away. They just keep on with the nonsense. All right, so the Venom Fang X thing, I don't know if they're, those comments, I think, were mostly rational. Um, but again, people speculate on things. It's like, look, Venom Fang, I don't care whether it's a, uh, when I said Internet provider. It doesn't matter whether it's the Internet provider or it's not the Internet provider, whether it's a company where you buy a uh, template website. Or, the point is, is that it seems obvious that they were, being, they were buying the paid version, not the commercial version, not the free version. And uh, they put up this statement, and the statement has every earmark of, like, somebody called somebody and said, look, we're the parents of what's-his-face, we pay the bills, we don't want the site up anymore. Why else would it say the parents of Venom Fang X? I mean, it just seems, uh, I mean, there's no reason why Venom Fang X would post that, even if he closed his own site. If he closed his own site, he's not going to say something that's stupid. So, you know, it seems obvious. So if you have another theory, you have to back it up with something. All right? No point in saying, uh, well, maybe not. Uh, maybe not's not an explanation of some other possibility. So, and lastly, um, the existence of God thing. Yeah, I got a few video responses, which is good. Appreciate that. Matt and um, uh, Barklord. Haven't heard from him in a long time. He's got a beard now. Apparently got a little chubby. Uh, harped on the cigarette smoking thing again. Like somehow this has something to do with the subject. I, you know, he has some sort of idea that under not lying everything, I somehow want to live to be 90. No, I don't care. I didn't want to live to be what I am now. <laughs> okay. Um, so whatever. That's not the, the the point. Isn't how I live. The point is, is what are the philosophical truths and what are the implications of being an atheist and saying shit like, uh, well, you know, people lived ignorant for thousands of years and they did just fine. Well, they didn't do just fine. They died of plague and cholera and smallpox. Um, they probably spent a lot of last dying moments, you know, gasping for air or saying something like, fuck this shit. You know, what the hell? What the fuck? I mean, that was probably being said a lot in human, human consciousness as they died pointlessly at a too young an age. 
Um, so look, you want to keep glorifying life and making sense out of it. That's your business. You want to keep trying to, you know, pin a tail on it and uh, some happy ears or whatever and make it look like something other than an ugly, stupid, slimy slug. Um, well, go ahead, but don't call that philosophy. Um, and call it what it is. Yeah, the bliss of ignorance, the bliss of stupidity. Uh, maybe, maybe you think that's worthwhile. Let's just be obedient to dumb fucking natural forces. Um, maybe you can make logical sense out of that, but there's no way I can. And I don't think the human race should. I think they're doing indignity to themselves to um, willfully stick their own head up their own ass. Um, yeah, Matt was just incomprehensible as usual. Uh, you know, just again preaching the we need religion thing, even though I don't believe in religion, even though I don't can't name the God's God, and I can't say God is God, I can't say what he is or anything else, what it is. Um, I'm just going to say we need to believe in him, and that's just bullshit. Um, you know, what's so wrong about the word religion? Well, you know, it's got a huge, awful, ugly history, Matt. And ignorance is stupid. It is not attractive. You know, enough said. Run out of time.